Hi, this is Sandy with SDS Digital and the Accord Melisma. For this demo, we'll be using the Accord Sequarlel for a CV and trigger source. I have added a new firmware called CV to MIDI mode. In this mode, the CV jacks can be assigned to MIDI functions, with all the knobs acting as attenuverters, offsets, or velocities for notes. While the three trigger type jacks can be enabled to play MIDI notes. None of the existing Melisma settings will be affected by this switch. In fact, some Melisma settings are used. This new mode can be accessed from Melisma's settings quick box way down at the bottom. Switch to CV to MIDI is set to yes to restart in the new mode. This is version 2.2 beta. So as you can see, this mode presents a simple list of parameters starting with the CV jacks. Here I've configured the root, chord, and spread jacks to play notes. These jacks all have trigger type of input in the same row. Here, here, and on the spread CV row, one below. The pinks go to the sequarlel sequencer's gate outputs which is what we'll use to demonstrate. With each jack, there is a zero volt note offset to set the range. The jacks are bipolar, so notes below this can still be played with negative CV voltages. Each jack is on a different channel, so further controls can be isolated for each. So, I'll hit play on the sequarlel. The CV to gate delay setting from the Melisma is being used, so whatever works with it will work here with all three triggers. The CVs for notes are one volt per octave like the original root input in Melisma mode. These three jacks can be used for MIDI CC, pitch bend, etc. if you already have another source for notes. The root, chord, and spread knobs adjacent to the trigger inputs can be assigned to control the velocities of notes on each row. The knobs can be assigned to be bipolar attenuators or offsets to their adjacent jack. Thus, root CV, chord CV, inversion CV, spread CV, velocity CV, and MIDI CC CV attenuation and offset can be controlled with that knob. The zero volt note is very useful as perhaps your CV source is tuned to the classic pitch of A. I'll turn down the velocities on channel two and three so we can hear only channel one, the piano sound. I generally use a zero volt offset for octaves. Any MIDI channel can be sent to from any jack. As mentioned before, these top three don't have to generate notes, but if not, the adjacent trigger will do nothing. The velocity CV input is assigned to pitch bend channel 2, and the velocity knob as an attenuator. While the MIDI CC input bends channel 3, each shows an offset value on the display. This can be good for microtonal tweaking as well. That's in sense and will sit at that pitch when the CV input is 0 volts. The MIDI CC CV is pitch bending channel 3 from an LFO, and the knob acts as an attenuator, which is an attenuverter, so with this LFO going into the minus side, works either way, but opposite phase.
So there may be times when you don't need all of the jacks. They can be disabled, as these three are. Each function settings are remembered, i.e. the value and channel. This one, the expand jack, has no knob, so relies on the source's range. This might be good for a MIDI CC that's a switch, like 64, which is generally the note sustain pedal. I'll patch an LFO to the expand CV. You can hear some piano notes getting sustained. The inversion jack, on the other hand, can use a knob, so I'll patch another LFO to demonstrate that. CC91 will add varying levels of reverb to it. Cranking the inversion knob, you can hear the reverb fading in and out. the L hand jack set to CC71, which is filter resonance with this GM synth part. This one of course has no knob, but I'll be using a gate pulse from a Ritem and want max and minimum immediately, so a knob really isn't needed. Which brings to mind that it's important to plan ahead with the knobs. If attenuation is needed, like the pitch shift or program change, then set those jacks for those functions. This also applies with offset. So here's all six knob assignments. The bottom of the list will exit this firmware mode back to normal Melisma operation. All of those settings will be retained for next time. Looks like the sustain pedal was on when I exited. Some care must be taken when switching modes, I suppose especially not while playing. As this is just a beta for this feature, there may be some changes in the final version, like the out button does nothing at all in this juncture, and the trigger inputs are only associated with generating notes. There may be a MIDI percussion mode that employs more jacks for that. Who knows, right? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.